going. All right. Well, welcome everybody to uh, Team Building Tuesday. Don Martin here, and uh, tonight we are. Yes, you're right, uh, Vina. Let's make Gina a co-host because she's very good at keeping us. Um, there you go, Gina. You are now a co-host. She'll keep everybody. Um, uh, under control and the mutes happening if we get any background noise as often happens. Uh, but welcome to Team Building Tuesday. Um, as we are here, we have for the last, what guys? 18, 19 months, every Tuesday night we're on. Um, and um, we get different people's inputs on building teams and, and the aspects of going out and applying different principles and fundamentals to build your unfranchised business. And we've had a lot of great guests over the years, but tonight we have a very special guest for a first time. Um, and uh, his name is Andrew Weissman. He's a vice president for marketamericanshop.com. A good friend of mine. We've done a lot of things together over the years, both in the US and overseas in the UK. We've traveled a lot over there. Um, and, um, and it's an honor, Andrew, seriously, to have you on here, brother. And thank you for getting on, pal. My, my pleasure. It's a privilege. And thank you for having me, Don, of team. Of course, man. And we, we really love having you on. So we have a few uh, questions that were sent out. Um, and we actually collaborated some questions. And Andrew and I talked earlier and I said, we're just going to freestyle this. I'm going to throw some questions at you and we'll have some fun for the next half hour or so. And, uh, and also, if you guys have some questions that you can think of, feel free to pop them in the chat as well. We might be able to pick some in here too as we get going um but um it's an exciting thing to be be uh be with andrew tonight to get so some now now i'm even more nervous you're, you're expecting entertainment and you're ex and and i don't know what questions are coming at me that's great that's right that's right but it'll be fun you nothing that you haven't answered before i'm sure brother okay. so first question obviously can you uh -oh. just give some people everybody some background you maybe what you did before just some of your own story, what you did before Market America, and then what kind of appeal, what, what appealed to you to come into the business and take, uh, grow into sure. your active role now? Sure, sure. Well, first, I want to congratulate um, everybody who attended the international convention, whether it be in person or online. I know you guys had a great representation on your team, and it, and, and it reflects in the results. You know, you're very fortunate to have you know, the leadership of Don and Lisa Martin, you know, I think you guys know that, but it, it is, it, it's, it's consistency is some, something that Don has and, and, um, and passion, and he just continues to stay focused. And I, the energy he brings is just, you know, there's nobody that really, you know, compares to him. So you're in a very fortunate position. And he's also one who adopted technology, I think earlier than anybody, you know, in our business. I mean, he was talking about Zoom way, way before, you know, we were, you know, had the necessity to use it. So, um, so once again, it, it, you're in a fortunate position, but, you know, for me, and then, and, and, and hopefully everybody who attended the international convention um, enjoyed it, um, got some value out of it. Um, it was, a, it was, a, it was a, 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 um, some fresh uh, aspects to it that were um, incorporated and, and, and uh, the feedback that we got was very positive. So, um, but what, what's most important is you take what you learn and then you implement it and you're consistent with that and have fun during your unfranchised business development journey, you know? Um, so just want to congratulate you on, on, on being a part of that. But for me, you know, it's been, it's been a, 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 a kind of a, a, I guess a unique journey. Um, I've kind of grown up with the business, Don and team, you know, I've, this all started when I was coming out of high school, you know, and so a lot of this kind of I guess, found myself being a part of it without even directly being a part of it, you know, because of my father, you know, and the relationship that um, he started with the Ridingers and um, his involvement with the business. And so, but before I, I jumped into Market America, I was uh, in sales, you know, in, in the carpet industry, the floor covering industry. I'm from Dalton, Georgia, which is actually, the, what was, I think it still is the carpet capital of the world. That's Interesting, fun fact, I guess. But um, any rate, I was aware of that, by the way. Because my dad, my I grew up in the floor covering carpet business myself, Andrew. Maybe that's what that's my right. dad, my dad did as a career. He laid carpets. That's and right. I was aware uh, about well, Georgia. I didn't know it was specifically Dalton, but yes. Yeah, Georgia. Dalton, Georgia. Um, 
And that's what brought my father and mom, you know, down from Brooklyn, New York, just before I was born. But nonetheless, um, I don't want to take you back that far. <laughs> but I, but there, I took the position, you know, because it was a, there was professional selling skills training, just like IBM used back in the day. And um, it was just one of those experiences that, you know, you're on your own. You got to, you know, fend for yourself. And I was awarded a territory up in, up in Pennsylvania. I, I covered the, um, the north. Yeah, the northwestern, northeastern part of Pennsylvania. So everywhere from the Lehigh Valley up through, you know, the Poconos, Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, that, that whole area up, up to Athens, even. That was all part of my territory. At any rate, I did really well. You know, I was in the top 10% in the nation. We have several hundred um, representatives, but you quickly recognize the fact that you don't really get paid what you're worth. And that just took me about a year to recognize. And of course, there was a connection with Market America and I just actually approached my father and said, listen, I want to, you know, be a part of this even more so than a, a distributor. We call them distributors. Then we say on franchise owners now um, because I became a distributor when I was in college and I sold Thermochrome. Back then it was one of our only products, you know, and I took an ad out in the little paper we had there in college. But you don't really have an appreciation for what the business can provide and why people are attracted to it at that young of an age. You know, so I was fortunate enough to come on board and and work closely with Kevin Buckman and Jr. and Dennis and 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 I traveled around and started to build a business myself and 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 learned through experiences, made the mistakes, and you know got disappointed along the way, and just everything everybody experiences that you've experienced, I experienced, you know, and so um, I can't believe that it's been what it's been for me. It's been like 27 years, you know, it's almost 30 years that we've been in existence. You know, I used to be the youngest in the room. Don used to be the youngest. You know, you started back about the same age, you know, I think. Yeah. And um, and so and so here we are. You know, it's been quite a journey. I never thought I would be traveling so extensively. Of course, the last couple of years has been almost non-existent. But to be in all the, the countries that we operate in, um, I even traveled to the Philippines. We were in the business there for a couple of years. But it's been quite a journey and one that continues and one that we are um, I think equally, maybe even more passionate and enthusiastic and driven um, today moving forward than we were, you know, tw for me 27 years ago and, you know, almost 30 years ago for the other team members, you know. Um, so we feel like that the, the first almost 30 years has laid a very solid foundation from which we're continuing to grow from. And we feel like that we're still, you know, undiscovered. We still like we're just kind of getting started and we've, started the next chapter, you know, um, at the international convention that will continue through the world conference. And, um, so there's a variety of things to, to really be enthusiastic about. I love that, man. That's awesome. And when you saw this, Andrew, just to piggyback on, on what you just said, what was it to you about the business plan? Cause what I always love to share is that, Hey, the business plan Yes, we have some great things. We have great executives, as you well know. I mean, you're a part of it, of course, and we have great sure. products. And, but till this day, I still maintain that the best part of everything we do is our unfranchised compensation binomial organization. Yes. What was it about the company when it comes out of the plan really appealed to you? How is one of the sales? You know, what's interesting is I, you know, even before. Um, Market America, I had a friend of mine, and I didn't even know what was going on. I, it was it, he, a friend of mine showed me a, a, a multi-level marketing business plan. It was in a flip, it was in a flip chart form. Sure. And I just, it, it just didn't make any sense to me. I, you know, it just, and then, and, and, but I, I didn't even think anything of it really. You know, it was back, you know, it was just when college was starting, you know, and, it, but then when um, I was introduced to the business with the unfranchised business and the MPCP and the binomial, you know, compensation plan, it, you know, with JR, I, it, it, to me, it just, it just hit, it just made sense. It just was, it, it was one of those things where I, I kind of got it off right in the first time I saw it. I'll be honest with you. I mean, it's not like, I mean, I'm, it's not like I'm that smart or anything like that. It's just that it made complete sense. And it was just powerful. It's like, you know, it, it was kind of blown away, you know, and so, um, and I think today, you know, and JR speaks about this quite a bit, a lot of things we end up taking for granted, 
as unfranchised owners. You know, but some of the aspects of our compensation plan is just unbelievable. You know, and you really hone in on it, really internalize it, understand it, and then communicate it. That's when you really get it, you know. And I'm not going to go through all the aspects of it because I think you guys are aware of them, but it's, but it's it's nobody's been able to duplicate what we've accomplished. There's been, you know, imitation is always the, the highest form of flattery. We've had hundreds of companies that have tried to copy us in one way or another, um, but most of them have, have, have um, gone by the wayside. But here we are, you know, still with the most lucrative yet most realistic compensation plan ever created. And then you couple that with the products that really perform, that really get results that people benefit from and are competitively priced at the retail level. You know, um, those two things right there have enabled us. I mean, of course, there's other components to the system, and I'll, but those two things, great products that are competitively priced and yield results and have great value and a compensation plan is in line with reality that's very lucrative for those people who are coachable and consistent. And you can't help but win provided that you are consistent in performing what Don teaches, what you learn at the international convention, what's really remained the same for almost 30 years as far as the fundamentals are concerned. It's just today we have some technologies that enable us to be even more efficient and that can actually build the business even faster. When I, when I say that, I don't mean to, to um, cause some people, they tend to maybe not spend the amount of time on the getting started guide and spend the time with the new unfranchised owner and really reaching them and finding out what it is they want, what their purpose is and, and having them kind of customize the business around their wants and needs. But what I'm talking about is working through the people faster and more efficiently that don't qualify, that aren't worth our time, energy, and effort. That is something we can, um, I think technology has really enhanced our ability to do, you know, um, of course, we're all going to make the mistakes and spending the time with the wrong people, you know, here and there, but you learn from that. And then we try to prevent that, you know, with the evaluation approach, you know, but it's still going to creep up here and there. You're still going to have people who, you know, you think they're going to make things happen and they disappoint and it's, at the same time, the opposite is true. But I think these technologies that we have with Zoom, with the unfranchised marketing app, now with Shop Live, and other things that we have that maybe we take for, for granted sometimes, even auto ship, you know, or the reporting capabilities that we have through unfranchise.com, the new enhancement to unfranchise.com, make it, make it easier to navigate, you know, all these little things end up making a big difference over time. And we just, as a company, do whatever we can to make the unfranchised owner's experience in performing the result producing activities as efficient and as effective and as fun as possible, you know? And I think we've demonstrated that over the years, you know, um, and, and, you know, and here we are, but, but, but that's what I've, I've gotten out of, you know, at least definitely over the last couple of years, it's definitely, you know, been a wake up call to a lot of people, you know, and, um, and those who have utilized the technologies and are consistent in doing you know, performing the, 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 the activities that yield results um, are experiencing the results, you know? Absolutely, yeah. And, and it's amazing how effective people are when they apply themselves, but it's also incredibly on the counter side of it, it's very easy to lose the focus if you don't stay plugged in utilizing the technology as well, Andrew, right? So yes. that's why it's so important to continue to plug into these team building Tuesdays every single week, the Monday fun day every single week. And then the business plan being engaged, not only to learn, but also to be engaged with other people because yes, technology gives us an advantage, but it also needs a consistent effort because it's easy to lose the attention when it's, when it's technology too. So just really, really think, by the way, uh, uh, an announcement, Andrew, that I want to share with everybody, because you just mentioned it, the new back office on Saturday, guys, at 11 a.m. Eastern time on Saturday, which is 8 a.m. Pacific. We have people all over the country that's going to, that are either watching this now live or they're watching the replay. Um, we are doing a back office basics training for everybody uh, to teach you how to utilize the updated uh, enhanced back office, but also keeping basics on how to stay on top of 
form 1000s, purges, you know, um, and, uh, and keeping everybody current active so everybody maximize their payout when they generate the volume to earn and get credit for commission. So we're going to spend about an hour on Saturday. So mark that in your calendars, guys. Uh, we will we will be there and it will be recorded, Jewel. So if you can't be there live, it, we're just doing the best we can for all time zones. But 11 a.m., about 11 to 12, we're thinking about an hour and 15 minutes or so, give or take. I was going to say an hour, but I gave myself an extra 15 <laughs> just for you guys. You um, guys, listen, you're, in, you're so fortunate. I mean, not, there's not too many team uh, leaders that, that do things like this. I, I'm just going to tell you. And I, 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 didn't, I thought there'd be like 10 people online. I, I, I just didn't know. But to have, what, over 50 people like this, I think is, is great, uh, Don and team. Um, you know, whenever, you know, what, 18, 19 months ago, you know, when we really had to kind of, locked down. Um, and I say this at every presentation I do now. Um, we have to be careful on what we, you know, you can't leverage the, the, the pandemic to, to lure people into the business that you can't do that, which we haven't done. Right. But the things that I, I, that became very clear to me, right, you know, right when all this kind of crazy stuff started was that like, hold on a minute. Our business is based in the home. We had to be at home, right? A lot. Our business is online. Wait a minute. We have products that can enhance your 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 quality of life, strengthen your immune system. You know, live he- live he- a healthy lifestyle. Wait a minute. People want and need and are yearning for connectivity. Right. We 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 provide that. Not only do we provide that, you know, in a connection like this, and of course it's not three-dimensional, right? It's it's just like, you know, they're not in person, but still it's the next best thing. That connectivity, I think, is incredibly important as a community, you know? And like Don, you mentioned just briefly on the call today, you guys have created a community within the community, which I think is powerful. And that connectivity, I think, is invaluable, um, and, uh, and I think we're fortunate as a, as a global community to have that. And we're all connected economically, you know? So it's just a, it's just a cool thing. I, I just, you know, once again, you start to think about what you have and the value of the business that you own, you know, and how, how really how valuable that is. And I think it's true what JR says. And he said that a couple of years ago, he's like, you know, I think people must take things for granted. And it's like, wait a minute, you're actually, I think you're, you're onto something here. So he started to really focus on, you know, what our strengths are, which are, which is the plan, you know, and then of course the products, that's almost like you have to have products that perform in our, but I mean, the plan is just second to none. And so we're, we're fortunate. And now that we incentivize, you know, what needs to be accomplished to successfully build an unfranchised business even more by adding the six months of free shipping, becoming a master unfranchise owner. You know, that to me was a great um, aspect to the next chapter. You know what I'm saying? So we're really incentivizing what, what should be done anyway, if somebody is really sincere and serious about making progress in the growth of their business. You know, I mean, yeah, becoming, you know, converting spending into earning, you, that should be done anyway. I'll, you know, without even hardly thinking about it, right? I mean, as you start to expose the products and expose the business, then work from conference to conference or event to event, right? So, so I, I'm just happy that we made that we made the decision to really incentivize, you know, becoming a, ma- a master on franchise owner. Because at the end of the day, it really boils down to that, you know. Yeah. So building the foundation with the getting started guide, getting that base of a minimum of 10 customers, then getting seven strong, you know, with that. And that leads you to becoming a master on franchise owner. And by just duplicating these systems, that that's, that's as simple as we can get it. That's the business. You, you, it's only a matter of time before you really will get to, you know, where you want to go. Um, you know, and the business will never grow as fast as you want. No, It just, just sorry. Yeah, but, it just is what it is, right? It just it never does. No matter how fast it grows, you always want it to grow faster. And well, by the way, I think that's a great thing for the entrepreneur's heart because that just there's always there's always a, uh, you're always chasing. 
You're always yeah. on the chase and, and entrepreneurs love to be on the chase, right? Andrew, a, a lot of people don't, didn't realize that. And I'm glad you pointed it out. And I wanted to really recognize, I mean, Andrew has built a very successful on franchise business guys. So yeah, yeah. You know, he, he is, he doesn't just, you know, he, he walks the walk and he's built a successful on franchise owners. So, uh, so in that light, Andrew, I mean, a lot of the guys you know about in the company, you know, are in Andrew's team, you know, like he's yeah. got some, some of the, some really good players in his group and, and, and he yeah, can, yeah feel free to share. But what I'd like to ask you, Andrew, is this, because this was a, 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 a question that a lot of people wanted to answer for. And that was in the business building process, what is, what is your favorite part? Like, what do you enjoy most through the business building process? I, that's a good question, actually, because there's a yeah. lot of, there's a lot of aspects to it that I, that I really enjoy, you know, of course, the, 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 the most enjoyable aspect is seeing, you know, and witnessing people who you coach and spend some time with and mentor them succeeding, you know, even if it's small stepping stones along the way, that's very gratifying. It's very fulfilling. That to me is probably number one. Maybe, maybe second to that, I, I get a kick out of showing the plan and then getting the, the reaction from somebody who really who's right for it. And the timing is right. You know what I'm saying? They're really interested in learning. Um, and, and, then, and they have some healthy skepticism as well, but you can see it in their eyes. You can see it that they are getting it. And you know, that to that feeling is something I really enjoy. Um, you know, and I guess that comes with some experience, you know, cause you get, I've been disappointed too, a, a lot, you know what I mean? You get people who, 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 <laughs> poo-poo on the parade and, you know, just kind of just are, are naysayers and you can't convince them of anything. And I think as entrepreneurs, we need to recognize that sooner than later so they don't frustrate ourselves and beat ourselves up because it's not us. It's not the business. It's just not the right person that we're talking to. You know, if we can kind of filter that a little bit and, 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 and minimize, you know, um, spending time with the wrong people on the, on the front end, you know, the business is that much more enjoyable. You know, you can't prevent it completely because uh, people will always disappoint you a little bit, but uh, but you can minimize it through the processes that we have in place, you know. Agreed. And, and I always, what I, it always sticks with me is you can't say the right thing to the wrong person and you can't say the wrong thing to the right person and the people you think you're going to do it won't and the people that you don't think you're going to ever do it will, right? It's kind of like your dad. Like who would have thought Marty Weissman <laughs> would have done this business, right? I oh, mean, yeah. you know it better than anybody. Oh, uh, yeah. Doesn't no, make funny. any sense, yeah. but it does, yeah. No, it's and, funny. I, you know, it, um, no, I, I'll share this quickly with you, but yeah, it's, it's true. My father, yeah. When my, when my dad first met the Ridingers, you know, JR, you know, kind of explained the business. And my dad came from a very, just, just worked hard. I mean, he barely got out of high school. He's, you know, working since he was in the 13, 14 years old, you know, just built a very successful carpet manufacturing business, sold it, whatever. But the point is when he met JR and Lauren, he could, didn't, had no idea what JR was talking about. JR's drawing circles. He's like, cause listen, I, but in his mind, he's thinking to himself, wait a minute, if, if this guy can attract this girl, right. he's got something going on here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's got something. So that, you know, so that's my dad, right? And so anyway, they started a relationship and dad started, you know, he's, he's a, a master negotiator and just a, a unbelievable uh, individual uh, human being. And so he's been, we've been, we've all been fortunate to benefit from uh, all the negotiation power. He's the chief negotiation officer. And so uh, we've been all been fortunate, but I think that's a, that's a cute story of no, how- it's funny. Uh, it's funny, There's a, there was a question and you already answered it without the question. Was, this was Elisa Martin, she's on by the way. It was Elisa Martin question. Oh, and her question was, any funny stories or in, impactful memories that you want to share about the founders, the executive team? And I think that pretty that, much- Hopefully that, that, hopefully that, that covers it. Yeah, yeah. That there's two it. Weissman effects by the way, right? So you guys just heard, the reason why, and I don't know if you guys know much about other companies that have, you know, in the network marketing field, I mean, I don't really consider us being a part of that, but there is some relation. Um, there's a reason why we get a lot of our products, 80, 90% BV on the dollar at wholesale. It's because Marty 
is the master negotiator. He knows how to get the best deals to be able to get these products that are so superior to the marketplace, but yet price pointed so we can make great retail profit and incredible back end BV commission. So yeah, you know. we have a we have a phenomenal team. You know, our product development team, our our um, our brand and category or division managers. You know, there's a lot that goes into it, but it it um, you know. And, and we, we have never, you know, cut any corners, you know, we're always going to look to incorporate, you know, ingredients that have science that can validate the effectiveness of the ingredients and our formulations, of course, are exclusive. Um, and, and, and we've never um, compromised that, you know, and we've never looked to be the, the least expensive on the market. We've always looked to provide the, the highest quality the most value and be competitive at the, at retail. And that's where we, that's the first measurement. And then we back that down and say, okay, what can the unfranchised owner pay for it, but also leave a healthy markup for some retail profit. Right. And then how much BV can we assign? So obviously, as you guys know, the, the, the higher the margin we have to work with, the higher the BV value we can assign to the products, right. you know, and so, yeah, we've been fortunate to, you know, when you look at the products, we good, very healthy BV values, you know, but we're constantly looking to source um, different suppliers, vendors, and manufacturers. It's a constant process, but, um, but dad's a bit of a magician from the negotiation. He really is. And, he, and by the way, what I love about Marty is when he gets it done, he, he's proud of himself and he likes to tell us about it. That's my, one of my favorite things. But I, every time I see your dad if yeah. I'm visiting Greensboro, he's like, Don, I got to tell you what I just did. Like, yeah. he's so excited. You know, he like, oh, goodness. When he came out with the little, when he, I know a lot of people don't know, but he was like the, 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 the person behind those, uh, those, uh, whatever you want to call it, the pods, the stuff, the one shots that you could put in your, in your, the snap one shot things, you know? Yeah, he yeah, was, yeah. He, so pumped about that product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, but one thing I think is important for the team to know, you know, from a, um, you know, because you're we're partners. Everybody's a partner here, and we consider, you know, all of our vendors, suppliers, manufacturers, on franchise. I mean, it's it's a it's a whole partnership and a whole team effort to make it work. And keep in mind, we've had um, relationships uh, with manufacturers and suppliers for, well, some a couple of them since we've started. But for over 25 years, so I think that's a testament to who we are as a as a as a client to the, to them, right? You know, and and the relationships that we've developed, and that's that's it's largely due to my father. That that's a big aspect of what he's done, those vendor relationships. Um, but it's not just him. I, I don't. There's a, there's a tremendous amount of people that make that work, but uh, but he definitely led the way there, and, and it's the reason why we have such strong alliances. You know, we can do what we can do, you know, because yeah. we're, we're a great sure. corporate citizen, you know? Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. I mean, well, this has been awesome, Andrew. A couple more questions for you. We're at about a 30-minute mark, so we can kind of circle the field now. But there, sure. there's a couple more that I want to ask you. Um, one, can you tell everybody uh -oh. a little bit about World Conference and why it's going to be so extraordinary. I absolutely can't wait. Like it can't come fast enough, but yeah. tell everybody why they want to be there and particularly live and in person, because we just had an amazing event. So yeah. give us some inside you track. Know, on conference. I wish it, I wish it was, I wish it was a, a few weeks before I could give you maybe a couple of secrets because we don't really have the secrets developed yet, right. <laughs> but nonetheless, right. nonetheless, um, uh, yeah, this was, you know, the international convention was special because it, it was hybrid, obviously. It was the first time we were all, well, well, many of us were able to come together and the people who were in attendance, they felt it, you know, and, and, hope, and I, the, the dynamic, we felt it as well. And I think the people even were, they were online because there was a live audience, it was a different dynamic and a feeling compared to the previous two, you know, um, events that we did. But, you know, the World Conference, we're going to continue you know, if, if the conference was next week, it would be a hybrid event. Obviously, we're dealing with a, a fluid situation. Um, and we're looking, I think we're going to have a lot more people in person than we did at this international convention. And we're really excited about it because it's a brand new venue. We're going to be in Fort Lauderdale this year. And they did, they put, I think it's um, close to a billion dollars into renovating and expanding this convention center. I think it's going to be more cost effective for unfranchised owners to travel in to Fort Lauderdale as opposed to Miami. Um, 
and the, the, ho the hotel's right there too. So it's, it's always going to be more of a feeling of togetherness that you don't really get in Miami, but you do kind of get when you're in Greensboro, you know? Right. And so um, I think that's going to be a great venue for us. Um, we're going to release a video very soon that shows a rendering of the stage set. It's going to be really, really cool. It's in the, in the round. It's just going to be, it's just going to be a great experience for, from a, a participant standpoint. Um, yes, of course, we're going to be introducing hot new things, you know, technologies and products and the whole bit. That, that's, that's a given. Um, and I think, you know, with, with Dennis's band, that was such a hit with Lauren doing those songs. That I, we're gonna, I think we're probably going to have some live entertainment too again. Right, you know? right, right. It, you, got, you got to go for it. But, but the next chapter continues in Fort Lauderdale, the end of February. And um, I do encourage you all to, to, to secure your tickets to it. I'm not saying that to, 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 because it's going to sell out tomorrow. You know, the tickets are available. You know, but I say that because you know, now's the time to, to, to work toward it. Not a month out now. You know? And then as you use the evaluation approach and work through the, the follow-up process, you know, you're going to need the tickets to sell. And you're going to need more tickets to purchase if you implement the process, right? And these activities um, now. So, just some, just I'm just encouraging you to do so. You know, it's, it's going to be a, a great fall season. You know, we're entering the into the holiday shopping season, which we always set a record each year. You know, because of the, all the shopping that goes on. You know, and the and the volume that's created as a result. So it's a great time to capitalize on on what's happening. So, yeah, hopefully I answered your question, Don. I mean, I wish I had some more insight to give, but it's I think it's going to be fresh and new. You know some of the aspects are going to carry over that were really resonated. Like the, like the DJ was great. The, the, the online hosts that we had with Cullen and, 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 um, and Brandy. Um, some of these dynamics uh, were fresh and new and came from Carlos. Carlos, a new, our new um, head of events of, of live events. And, uh, and, and it, he wanted to kind of just unleash. He, he came from a, he has close to 30 years of experience doing major international productions, you know, and, and, and so he has a lot of cool ideas that we were only able to implement a couple of them, but I think as we move forward, you're going to experience some, some more cool, fun, um, you know, things. At the end of the day, the main thing's the main thing, which is growing the business. That's, that's, that's what, why we conduct the events for individuals to, to grow the business. Um, but it's also, it's important to enjoy the process and, to, and we come together to have fun. And I think we, we did that in Greensboro and we'll, we'll do it again in Fort Lauderdale, so. We, we, we really did. I mean, the energy that even, you know, even though it was hybrid, there were a lot of people at home, even you know, the group that was there, I mean, it was so refreshing, so refreshing. I needed it, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, and uh, I know everybody did. And man, did it do, uh, it didn't make a difference. And yes, the people that were online got a great benefit, but there was something just, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, just levels above be, by from the people that were there. It was just absolutely astounding. Yeah. I just can't wait for people. I to felt it as well. I was one of the ones who, it was, you know, I was a, a bit um, skeptical about doing it um, in, in person, you know, for a variety of reasons, but I didn't realize what I was missing until I was there and felt that. So yeah, I agree with you, Don. And I was, I was, yeah, I felt it as well. You know, yeah. it was, it was refreshing and it was needed more, more, yeah. more than I thought. Yeah. It was interesting when I pulled up, you know, that night, like, I mean, I grew up, I mean, like you, Andrew, I was 23 when I started. And when I yeah. pulled up that night into that, that host hotel parking lot and I looked up, you know, it's a, it's a unique, there's no other hotel in the world looks like, I mean, yeah. Not like it's extraordinarily special, but it's just, it's unique. And I woke up and like every single thing flooded back to me. And I was so, you know, moved by it. I threw an email out to you guys, you yeah. and Art, because it was just like, man, it just all the ups and the downs and the struggles. And that moment, me being there oftentimes is what saved me from losing my focus because I was renewed and restored and reminded of why we do it and how it can keep going. If you just keep on, you know, forging forward and I'm looking forward to everybody having that same experience as I did moving forward. Last Amen. question, Andrew, what are you most excited about? What are you most excited about uh, uh, moving forward? And what would be your biggest piece of advice um, mm. for people to, 
to do moving out of tonight? Like your biggest piece of advice, what you're most excited about and your biggest piece of advice for everybody moving on from this moment uh, in their Market America journey. Well, I'll, I'll, as far as the advice, the advice is, is, is simple. And it's the advice I give all, always, which is be, 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 your, be yourself. Uh, that, that, to me, you know, you need be true to yourself and, 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 that, and therefore the sincerity will, 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 will come out when you, when you start building relationships and as you um, have conversations with people, which leads to presenting the, the plan. Um, cause like you said, Don, you can't say the wrong thing to the right person. So as long as you're yourself and that sincerity is the great equalizer. Right. And I think that, uh, that, that, that is, 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 is really important. There's a lot of important aspects, but to me that that's where it starts. So that's my advice and you have to enjoy the process. But I think if you're, if you're, um, um, if you're, if you're being yourself, you know, you kind of, you almost have to enjoy it, you know, cause you're right. true to yourself. And so that kind of, those all kind of, that kind of happens as far as what I'm most excited about. It's a, it's, you know, it's a good question. Um, cause there's, there's, there's a variety of, there's a lot of, there's a lot of things. I mean, there's, it, I'm just excited to, to be, to continue to be a part of this. You know, I, I, am excited to, 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 to take things to, to new levels. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, we, the next chapter would kind of came out in conversation before the event, because I felt that some of the things that we were doing, um, you know, we're, we're putting ourselves into the next chapter. I mean, next fall will be our, th our 30th, you know, uh, international convention. Wow. We're we'll we'll celebrating 30 years, you know? Um, so I'm, I'm just excited to, to continue to expose the business to people, you know, and expose the products to people. Um, you know, I, I, you know, it's, it's, it, it, it's, it's unbelievable how much volume that we generate with such a small amount of people in our community. We're really, we're, you know, yeah, we're a pretty sizable company. We've done well. We've been consistently growing, been recognized. Now we're being recognized in the e-commerce world, you know, and you see some of those articles that are coming out. And I think it's, it's, it's a, it's a great thing that'll continue. Um, but, uh, I'm just excited for more people to recognize who we are, what we are, and, and why we are. And I'm excited for more people to, to experience success. One of the things that I, one of the, sorry to belabor this, I know you want to wrap up, but, but one thing I, 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 I'm, one of the things I most enjoyed about the international convention um, was, was during recognition, we, 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 we adjusted some things in order to accommodate um, a, a few new executive coordinators and master coordinators and uh, a senior master coordinator to speak, you know, but that, I think though, even though it was only like a minute each minute and a half or whatever it was to me, that's what resonated more than anything during this event. And, you know, four out of the five power profiles were all were senior master coordinators. And so I just I just feel that there's a a, a, a building of a of a, a, a newer wave of, of of growth and leadership that's coming, you know, into our business and and growing. So that is what excites me the most right now, um, you know. And 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 right now the United States actually lags behind. I got to tell you, you know, Taiwan and Malaysia, you know, these these are countries that 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 are 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 are. are kicking some ass right now, you know, and then there's nothing more than the fact that they have, that they're implementing what I said, getting started guy, base 10, seven strong, master and franchise owner. That's what they, they keep it simple. They're focused and that's what they do. That's it. And as a result, Taiwan was the market of the year, you know? And so, um, but we can do that here, obviously, you know, we have great leadership and, and new emerging leadership, which I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm excited about. So. I love that. Well, Andrew, I, I got to tell you that our team professed, we, we uh, decided collectively uh, that, that we have a hashtag in our group called own the room and own the stage. And that's what our plan is. Uh, and we want to, you know, kind of lead the way in that um, into the world conference. And we talk about it all the time. Um, you know, our goal is to have the most people in the company hit president's chairman, the chairman's challenge and the corporate challenges that, and have the most people on stage, which, you know, obviously leads into having one of the largest, if not the largest organization in the company, they're live. And that, that's our, 
competitive spirits coming out and that's nothing against anyone else. That's just like, Hey, if you don't compete, it's like, you know, all football players seem to, that are professionals are professors. They love each other, but somebody's got to win. Right. So why not? Right. Why not I you guys have a good shot at it. Listen, I know there were several, there were several challenge winners on this team. There were several new levels being achieved on this team. And it's a reflection of Don, you and Lisa and your leadership. And so I, I don't doubt it. I mean, you, might, you, I, you probably will have the, the, the most team members in, in person at this, this convention, at this conference. So it, it's, it's, we have a lot to look forward to, but it's just the beginning, right? We have a lot, we have a lot to do over the next several months as we uh, work toward it. Yeah, 